one a unit um, together mess idea. And with your last breath, just open your eyes and extend your arms above your head and stretch nicely, keep your back straight and then pull your arms up and then interlace your fingers and then flip your palms up and then stretch again. Inhale and then as you exhale, release your shoulders down. And then again, inhale, stretch all the way up and exhale, press down. And bring your arms to the front, still keep your hands interlaced and then stop bending around in your back and then bring your knee, your, your chin to your chest and then come back to a straight a back again and then push all the way back rounding your back and then chin to chest and then straight up again on the next one you might want to use your towel or if you're flexible enough just wrap your arms behind your back and then just grab your hands and again keep your back nice stretched and straight and stretch your arms and then swap to the other side and then keep breathing in and out as you do this come into a tabletop position so hands and knees usual hands um, shoulders are right above your wrist and then your knees and hips are stacked as well take a nice deep inhale as you lower your belly and you raise your arm head up and then exhale push all your air down and round your back and lower your head and then inhale again into cow and then exhale into cow just one more inhale and then exhale Start drawing circles with your hips in a clockwise direction. So bring your hips to the side, back to the opposite side, come to the front, mobilize your wrists at the same time. So you're warming up your back, you're mocking, warming up your wrists. Just do three in a clockwise direction and then change to the end clockwise. And then keep breathing as you do this and try to keep the movement fluid. So it's like your body's like floating as you're doing this. And then one more. And then come back into the tabletop. So lean forward and stretch your wrist as you're still leaving your knees on the floor. And then come back onto the straight tabletop. Turn your head from the palm outwards and then lean to the right first. Take one deep breath and then lean to the left and another deep breath. Now stretching your arms and your wrist. Palms facing forward again, fingertips facing forward. Extend your left leg and then rest on your toes. So your leg is straight and your toes are on the floor. And then push your heel back, giving a nice stretch to your calf. Oh, I can feel that. <laughs> so inhale and then as exhale, press back a little bit further, to stretch a little bit more. I've never tried to stretch my calf like this. Yeah, I'll get to, no. do, a get to, to do a different one now. So keep your yeah, leg extended, no. cross it over the other leg. So go to the, basically to the right side if you're using the right, left leg and then turn your head towards the same direction of your back leg. So you're stretching your side and your calves at the same time here. And then just breathe in. And as you breathe out, deepen the stretch. 
and then come back into a tabletop. Shake your back a little bit and then extend the opposite leg. So we're doing the same thing. Extend your legs, rest on your toes, press your heel back and then breathe in. And as you breathe out, press your heel a little bit back. Nice and stretching. Then cross your leg above the other leg. So your right leg over the left leg, that's what you're doing. And then turn your head in the same direction of your back leg. Again, stretching your back and your calves at the same time. Feeling good. Come back into the tabletop. Raise up into high plank. So if your core is engaged and your glutes are squeezed, so your, your bum is not up. It's oh not boy. Nice. Oh my God, it's great. <laughs> and then press down and lowering down slowly into a low plank and then all the way down to the floor. Once you reach the floor, untuck your toes and then lift your chest up into baby cobra. And keep your glutes engaged, your, your glutes squeezed and your core engaged as you do this. And then lower down onto the floor again. Untuck your toes, push up and press back into a downward facing dog. So palms are pushing on, pressing on the mat. Your feet are pressing on the mat. Your heels are pressing down. Your arms are straight. And then your hips are pointing out to the sky. And then take a couple of deep breaths here, just making sure you're stretching everything. Breathe in. And then breathe out and press your heels further back, further down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Come back into a high plank again. And then lower down into a half plank. And when you reach half plank, stay there. So your knee, your um, elbows are about 90 degrees. And now we count in four, three, two, one. And then you lower oh. the floor. And then come back all the way into an upper facing dog. You're straightening your arms. Your hips are lifted. And you're, point, you're facing, you're sorry, gazing forward. Again, engage your core and squeeze your glutes to keep the position. Tuck your toes under, push back into a downward facing dog. And then come back onto your tippy toes and lift your right leg all the way up to the sky. So you're on a three-legged dog, resting on one leg. One leg is up in the sky and both your arms are pressing down onto the mat. And then flow forward and step your foot between your hands. And when you reach that position, make sure you're stable and lift your arms up into a high lunge. So your back leg is straight and lift it up to the floor and your front leg is on a 90 degree angle with your knee stuck above your ankle. Breathe in and then breathe out. Soften your back knee a bit. Um, press your hands into a prayer position and slightly bend your back backwards into a crescent lunge and then keep breathing. Arms straight up again, lower your knee onto the mat and untuck your toes. So, and then press your hands into a prayer position. Nice deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, turn your chest to the right hand side and then touch your um, right knee with your left elbow. So you're going to twist the lunge while you're seated. And then nice deep breath here. Just going to watch you. Yeah. So breathe in. And as you breathe out, twist a little bit further. And then open up your chest a little bit more. One more breathe in. And then come back into center. Press your hands on the mat again. Tuck your toes under. Straighten your back leg. 
and then turn your back foot into a warrior two position. So it's parallel to the mat and then come back up into a warrior two. So front leg, knee stuck above your ankle, back leg straight. And your arms, one is pointing forward and one is pointing back. Flip your front end and then reverse the warrior. The back arm is straight, sliding along your leg. Come back into warrior two. Without moving your legs, bend your knee, rest it on your um, side, and open your chest to the right, sorry, to the left, and lift your arm up off your head. So your chest is open to the left hand side. Nice deep breath. Stretching your left side. Come back into warrior two. Front leg straighten, turn your foot parallel to the other foot, lift your arms all the way up to the sky. Nice deep breath again. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, inject your hips and bend forward into a fold. So your hands come onto the floor. Breathe in again. And as you breathe out, you press the fold a little bit more. And you can grab your ankles here and you try to close the gap between your upper body and your lower body. Then again, you breathe in and you expand and you breathe out and you deep and bend. Press your hands on the mat and then lift, uh, sorry, bend your right knee onto the sort of ninja position. So your right knee is bent, you're resting on your toes, your left leg is straight and your lower, uh, sorry, foot is flexed. And you can keep your hands on the mat or you can place them into a, a, a prayer position towards your heart center. So you're stretching your inner thighs here by making your um, sort of foot balance on your toes. Breathe in and breathe out. Hands on the mat, flow to the other side, straighten your leg, bend the opposite leg, down onto your toes, straighten the leg, foot flex, hands on the mat or onto the prayer position again. Stretching the other side. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back leg like straight and then remail your hands to the front and come back into a lunge, sorry, a high plank position. Press back into a downward facing dog. Stretch everything. Come into a high plank and slowly lower your body into a half plank and then all the way to the mat. Once you reach the mat, unpack your toes and lift your chest into baby cobra. And then squeeze your glutes, engage your core and then lower everything down onto the mat again. Press back into downward facing dog. Um, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So up onto your tippy toes, straighten your left leg onto a three-legged dog position and then bring your forward it between your hands and then lift up into a high lunge. So front leg is going to a 90 degree angle with your knee and your ankle stuck into top of each other. The left leg is up and resting on your toes. Soften your knee, your back knee, hands in prayer position bend backwards, create some lunge. Stretching your arm again, hands again, knee back on the mat, unpack your toes, hands into prayer position, breathe in, and as you breathe out, twist your chest to the left hand side and rest your elbow outside of your knee. Make sure you're opening your chest here. So breathe in, and as you breathe out, deepen the stretch and the twist. 
Breathe in once more. Breathe out and twist, deepen the twist. Come back with the hands onto the mat. Straighten your back leg, toes tight under. Turn your foot into parallel to the mat and come back up into a warrior two position. Nice and strong. Flip your hand, reverse your warrior, so reverse the body to the back. Breathe into your side here. Come back into warrior two. Rest your hand or your elbow sorry, onto your thigh and open the chest to the right hand side, lifting your arm above your head. Nice stretch to your right hand side. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back into warrior T. Stretching your front leg and turn your foot. Hands are above your head. Close your stance a little bit and then turn your toes outward and then sit down, not sit on the mat, but like lower down into this sort of horse stance position with your hands in the a prayer pose at your heart center. So make sure you've got your back straight and then your tailbone is sucked in. So no bum sticking back, just sticking on the and then breathe in. And then as you breathe out, just try to deepen the pose a little bit. And breathe in again. And as you breathe out, come back up straight. Straighten your legs, straighten your arms. And then windmill them to the front. And come back into the plank again. Deep breath. If you need to rest, you can go to child pose and stretch your back here. Breathe in and out. And then walk your hands, sorry, walk your feet to the top of the mat. And then grab you up to the elbows with your hands. And then do a little bit swing from side to side into this ragdoll position. Let your hand fall heavy to the down. So you're stretching your back and you're stretching your neck. And then place your hand on the mat or on your shin. And then inhale into a half lift. And then exhale into a forward fold. You can soften your knees while you're doing a forward fold and you straighten them as you're doing your halfway lift. Or inhale into a halfway lift and exhale into a forward fold. One more. Inhale. And then exhale. On the next inhale, roll your back all the way up into standing. That's over there to the with the head coming up flat, nice and slow, and then roll your shoulders back and open up your arms, your palms are facing forward. Sweep your arms to the side all the way above your head. Let me just come back so you can see me. Stretch your back. Then grab your left wrist with your right hand like this way, and then bend to the right hand side, giving a nice stretch to your left side, left side of your body. And then breathe in here, and then breathe out and deepen the stretch. Come back to center, and we're doing the same to the other side. So grab your right wrist with your left hand and then bend to the left hand side. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, you deepen the stretch. Come back to center again. Slowly lower your arm, give it a little bit of shake. Then put your weight onto your right leg 
and left and bind your left leg in front of you and then place your hands into prayer position and then start tilting forward and at the same time extend your left leg behind you so the legs are straight and then your chest is slightly coming up into sort of baby cobra and try to keep balanced this is a warrior three so many warriors and then again nice deep inhale here and exhale and then return to center both legs both feet on the mat release your hands bit of a shake weight is on to the left leg now so you're raising you're lifting your right leg bending it and prayer tilting forward and extending your right leg behind you nice big balance well done and again inhale here and exhale lifting your chest into baby cobra and then return to center putting your foot back onto the mat Swan dive forward, so go back into a forward fold. Press your hands on the mat or on your shin. Inhale into a halfway lift. Exhale into a forward fold. Inhale again. This time we're lifting our arms and sitting back into a chair at the same time. So you're almost sitting in the air and you can sit deep or you can sit a bit higher up depending on what feels comfortable for you just try and stay in this position as steady as possible with your arms extended above your head and then at each exhale try to deepen the chair a little bit more so inhale and as you exhale deepen the chair Bring your hand again into prayer. Nice inhale. And as you exhale, twist your chest to the right with your elbow reaching your knee again. So it's the same as we were doing before, but this time we're doing it in a chair position. Again, we're stretching our back here, our lower back. Breathe in. And breathe out. Come back to center. Inhale, and as you exhale, you twist to the opposite side. Again, elbow to knee, and open up your chest. So this is harder than the previous one because we're actually standing on our legs. So your thighs will be on fire right now. Yeah, I felt that. Yeah. And then return to center, and release into forward fold to relax your legs. Take a nice deep breath. Yeah. And out. Inhale, forward, forward. Sorry, for uh, yeah, for your left. And then exhale into forward. And coming onto the mat. Sit down. Legs in front of you. So you're sitting with your knees bent. Your feet are on the mat. Place your hands behind you. We're just going to do a couple of um, reverse tabletop. So we're lifting our hips and we're reaching this sort of reverse tabletop position. Um, make sure you're engaging your core, squeeze your glutes really tight here. And you should feel tension in your arm strings as well. It's a bit of a full body workout. You're working your arms, you're working your glutes, you're working your arm strings, you're working your core. And then release down onto the mat. Release there. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then lift again. All the way into the tabletop. And then down onto the mat again. Now with your back onto the mat. And bring your chest. Sorry, bring your knees towards your chest and give it a nice squeeze 
and rock from side to side and massage your lower back because we've done a little bit of work today. And nice rocking here. And come back to center. If you have your towel on your strap, you can grab them now because what we're going to do is what we did last week. So extending our leg onto the one leg onto the mat and extending the other one above us. And then we're stretching our armstrings and calves. We can either put our arms behind our thighs or we can use the strap or the towel, wrapping it underneath our foot and then pulling that leg towards us. Again, inhale, and as you exhale, you pull your leg towards a little bit more. Make sure you, your knees are straight and then your feet are flexed. Your foot is flexed. Mm -hmm. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, you pull a little bit more towards you. Yeah. And then you release. Swap legs, so extend the other leg onto the mat. Bring this one below under you didn't use. Close your chest and then straighten up above you. Grab your mat, sorry, your, your strap or your towel. Grab it underneath your foot. And then again, breathe in. And as you breathe out, pull your, leg, your foot towards you and your legs towards you a little bit more. You should feel a nice stretch on your armstrings and your calves here. One more, breathe in. And as you breathe out, you pull towards you again. Deepen it. And then release. Come back into seated, cross leg position. Place your left hand onto your right knee and twist your chest toward the right hand side and your left hand is behind you. Breathe in and then breathe out. Come back to center and swap. So right hand on the um, left knee. Open up your chest to the left. And then again, breathe in. And as you breathe out, you deepen the stretch. And then come back into center. And then prepare for the final relaxation. So lie down with your legs straight and arms straight, or lie down with your legs into a butterfly position and your arms above your head, whichever feels more comfortable for you. Just relax and take long, deep breaths.
start wriggling your fingers and your toes and bring some movement back to your body and then stretch your arms and stretch your legs and when you're ready come back into a seated position Get someone asleep. <laughs> so, right, place your knee, your hands onto your knees again. Take a nice deep breath. Press your hands into a prayer position by your heart centre. And thank you all for being here today and joining the session once again. I'm really grateful for this. You have no idea. Um, mm -hmm. Namaste.